Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 6th, 2022. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful three day weekend and we're all geared up and ready for another wild and crazy week in uh, price action of the market. So how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few of these index charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, let's take a look at the diamonds here. Obviously, pretty ugly selling here in this market. We've broken these trends all over the place. We've broken all kinds of support levels in the chart so pretty darn bearish overall if we can get some bullish price action moving we'll want to keep a pretty close eye on some of these resistance levels that we see in the chart we have pretty substantial resistance levels to deal with and as a matter of fact um, uh, some even further down to deal with if we can get some rally going keeping in mind that we still have this downtrend in play so any rally back really sets up an opportunity opportunity for um, more selling and I'll, I will be watching for that opportunity to pick up additional short positions um, if we can rally back and depending on how it acts around some of these resistance levels so we'll want to watch those close now keeping in mind that there might be a little bit of hope here and you know we were really hoping for a nice little move on Friday but boy that really got crushed um, after we popped and dropped on the day My, shouldn't have been a really big surprise heading into a three-day weekend but um, disappointing all the same and if we take a look this morning we're trying to pop up a little bit this morning we're going to test this resistance here in the da diamonds but if we can push on higher if we can get on up into some of these other resistance areas that's where i'll be watching fairly closely for the potential of some short positions because I think we have more downside. The, the economic conditions around the world are not good and we continue to see pressure here in these markets. Let's take a look at our moving averages here real quick. Noticing here that even if we were to rally back pretty substantially and kind of get above that big old black candle on Friday, you'll notice that we've got a 50 day moving average up here providing some resistance now. And notice our uh, shorter term averages are starting to move down and will likely create um, a technical level of price resistance in the chart as well. So if we can pop through a couple of these resistance areas in here, I certainly will be watching for um, that potential bearish um, activity coming back into the market. If we take a look at the SPY, 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 uh, very much the same situation as you can see. We've broken that trend. We're definitely running in a downtrend. We have resistance levels in this chart all over the place. So keep an eye on that. Now we've, we did hold this support and if there's some good news in the in the charts at all it's right here notice right here we have what um, they would call a tweezer bottom notice we tried to go down there couldn't quite get through now tweezer bottom would be a bullish pattern and we also saw that in the diamonds where we pushed down and within a few ticks of each other we put in that potential little tweezer uh, bottom patterning pattern in there so maybe a little bit of a hope that we can get some kind of a relief rally going here in the market we definitely need it um, because we are oversold in the short term now keeping in mind there's nothing about this chart that's particularly bullish and as you can see in here um, lots of resistance levels above if we can get moving so we've got a lot of work here to do to relieve some of that pressure we also want to keep in mind our 50-day moving average is now above with shorter term moving averages moving down creating a zone of resistance above so watch that close the other thing is i really wouldn't expect the bears to give up all that easy considering the overall condition of world economies if we take a look at our qqq 
QQQ, pretty much the same situation here. Um, relatively ugly, you might say, in the chart. Um, uh, holding on to a little bit of price support. If we can get that relief rally, watch this area right up in here for that resistance to come into play. Clearly still in a downtrend here in the chart and our moving averages here pretty much the same. Um, uh, unfortunately, our 34 EMA is coming pretty darn close in here. So we have that potential here in that chart that as we rally back, we're going to um, increase that zone of resistance right in through that area. So watch, watch carefully there. And then if we take a look at our Russell IWM, a uh, very similar situation, pretty doggone bearish here overall in that chart. We'll want to watch this pretty closely as we rally back up to see if some of these resistance levels in the chart are going to hold or if they can push on through. And then also keeping in mind that our moving averages, we uh, on Friday, we kind of confirmed ourselves here below that 50 day moving average after rallying back and failing right there and notice those shorter term averages again working to place a zone of resistance right here in the chart so watch that close let's take a look at our vix now our vix gave us a little bit of whoops there we go our vix gave us a little bit of scare there for a while um, but as you can see we're we pushed all the way back up but here again a little bit of good news in this VIX in the fact that we almost made new lows in the market, but we didn't make a new high here in the VIX, which is interesting. So we held on to this trend in here, um, but that possibility that we could finally break this down just a little bit if that fear starts to drop out of the market with a little bit of bullishness. But we are going to be wanting to watch that upside trend and keep a close eye on um, um, some of these levels as we start to push back, we could easily find some price support in some of these price levels here on the VIX. So watch that close. One thing that's been interesting is we haven't seen a big growth of fear when we sell off, at least yet. And we seem to relieve that fear an awful lot with just a little tiny bit of bullishness. So hopefully we can get some relief here on that fear. Um, but I would be really, really careful um, getting comfortable thinking we're just going to zoom back to the top side. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122, certainly not in the best of situations here on this chart. We're very, very bearish here at one one point in time um, on Friday we were pushed right up here near midpoint and then those bears came in at the uh, midpoint of the day pushing us back down um, delivering that pop and drop but that being said we're still down here in our oversold area so we need a relief rally we're overdue for a relief rally but i wouldn't count on the fact that we can just zoom remember we came all the way up in here on friday um, just to test some 50-day moving averages before we sink all the way back down so you can see it doesn't take a whole lot of potential move to relieve a lot of pressure here in the market now what i would prefer to see is we relieve this a little bit more we push this up in here we kind of extend um, ourselves up here a little bit and then i'll be looking for some short positions as we approach those resistance levels in the charts let's take a look at our t21 07. Now T2107 continued to show that bearishness on Friday, pushing down 25% of the stocks um, being able to hold above their 200 day. Pretty hard to make a big bullish case when that's going on. Notice that we broke back down below that downtrend. However, we are holding on to some price support. So with a good relief rally, we might be able to pop right back up above that. I mean, keep those fingers crossed. We might get a little bit more help, particularly from those small caps. And then if we take a look at T2108, T2108, pretty darn bearish here. Um, we had zoomed up so extraordinarily overbought up here, as I kept um, reminding everyone. And then that pullback, pretty darn painful here in the chart, breaking that 
that uh, trend that we had there, uh, that hopeful trend. But we have quite a little bit of price support and a lot of congestion in this area of the chart. Um, only 31% of the stocks holding above their 40 day. I would expect some kind of a bounce at any time. We need a bit of relief, um, but I think that may just set up um, additional um, short trades. We'll see. Let's take a look at our uh, T2101. Now, T2101 continuing to push to the upside, showing that um, that um, momentum of the bears right now to the upside. But um, we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that because remember Friday we had, um, you know, not the best of um, price action in there with that whipsaw. Volume was pretty good um, overall um, on the day. So, uh, but so much of that was that fast selling. Um, into the end of the day. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. But before we, uh, excuse me, no, let's just take a look straight, right straight at it. Let's take a look. Um, first off, um, shortened week. Um, so as we can take a look at here this morning, we don't have a whole lot to worry about. We will have a PMI composite flash. That is important. We've been seeing our PMI numbers um, be a little bit weak kind of stall speed here in the market and then that ism services will be probably the most market moving and then you'll want to keep in mind that we have some short-term bond auctions that are going off um, here today so watch those closely because we do have those bond yields rising back up those pesky bond yields continuing to um point to substantial recession as they continue to move higher and they also continue to suggest the fed will be aggressive um, in the coming rate hike so we'll want to watch that um, and think about that as we plan forward um, wednesday we've got mortgage applications international trading good and then we've got a slew of fed speakers in here we're going to see on a wednesday we've got jerome powell in here speaking with petroleum status and really not much else in here charles evans will be speaking but a lot of bond announcements and things like that and then a whole bunch more fed speak here on a friday with very little economic data coming our way but remember all of this conversation is likely going to be hey the fed's going to stay pretty aggressive uh fighting inflation so that could um, keep those bears stirring about. So watch, watch carefully. Then if we take a look at our earnings calendar, our earnings calendar is also lightening up a whole bunch. And today um, we don't have a whole lot to talk about on the earnings calendar. Although we have about 26 companies listed, most of them that are reporting are very, very low volume, very small cap companies. However, I did pull out a few for the notables today that we'll want to uh, maybe pay attention to. Um, let's take a look. We've got Coop. Coop will be reporting today. Um, not the best pattern here in the chart. Obviously, we're continuing downtrend, broke our little uptrend that we tried to break out and pushed back down. So keep a close eye on that. That could be a report, important report to get things moving here in that. Um, GWRE will be reporting today. I made new lows on Friday. Obviously, pretty bearish looking chart and not the well, we'll have to see if those earnings can help us out or not. Um, and then PATH would be the only other somewhat notable here this morning. So not particularly the best charts to be um, expecting um, great results and market moving um, uh, reports today. So watch those close. Then let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar, or excuse me, um, our... Um, Sorry, I'm, it's a new week and I just can't think. Um, <laughs> let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if um, you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. 
And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor as well, click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow. And if you guys are out there on other social media uh, feeds or something like that, please, please feel free to share this video out there with other folks. Um, if you find it helpful, others might pay it forward maybe just a little bit and I would truly, truly appreciate it. And I want to say once again, thank you so much for everyone who continues to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link that's just right below the title of the video. Let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks setting up uh, for the day. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I'd be a little bit careful and cautious with the way the market is acting, making sure that you're doing your own due diligence you understand the risk of every trade and you're never ever blindly following someone else's trade ideas now as I've started a lot of these conversations here uh, it's a lot of it's been around what's going on with the dollar um, take a look at the price action in the dollar here in the pre-market popping around here maybe setting up to move even higher on the day now this is creating all kinds of complications here in um, not only our markets but also markets around the world particularly in those markets around the world and this is one of those contributing factors um, um, running a lot of these countries into some desperate situations and I think there's a possibility we could be running into a bit of a, of a liquidity crisis um, here in the future with um, the Fed rolling off their balance sheet um, we may run into some liquidity issues here overall now I don't want to suggest that I think the dollar is strong because I don't think it is it's just it's just a bit stronger than those other countries we kind of got ahead of the curve here uh, from other countries attacking inflation just a little bit earlier and so that's creating that strong dollar situation but what does that mean for other things well um, we would normally see um, when the dollar gets strong, energy get weak. But unfortunately, we have had energy um, rallying pretty strongly here. Now, there's some reports out saying that energy prices could begin to fall, and we can see um, OPEC did do a cut, but it was a marginal cut in production. So watch this close. Um, um, we are running that risk right in here that we could lose this trend. So energy with a lower high in here, this could potentially um, set up for a short term down move, uh, maybe to test some supports or something like that in the chart. Watch that close. However, when we take a look at natural gas, natural gas has held up so strong. Um, we'll want to keep an eye on that. Um, notice here we're breaking trend here. And by the way, I hold this trade. So um, um, I don't want to see this pull back, but I'm hedged on this trade. I think overall we're going to see natural gas go higher, but for a little bit we might get a little weakness here in uh, that chart. Now one thing that was interesting on Friday is we saw um, um, some of the... Um, defensive sector stocks perk up and they got caught up in the selling as well. Um, Coke was perking up, PepsiCo was perking up. So you might want to keep an eye today on some of those defensive sector type stocks. If they can rally with the strength that they had on Friday, we might start picking some of those up to the upside. Other places that I think um, you just got to stay focused on, um, taking a look at solar. Um, look how strong this is. It's, it, it, it's parabolic in the strength honestly pushing up here watch this little um, resistant or support area in the chart as we kind of chop around up here but I think some of these energy alternative energy companies are going to move on higher with that funding from the US so watch those carefully um, keep an eye on first solar you might look at tan tan is um, solar etf it's been pulling back a little bit but watch carefully we find some support in here um, other solar stocks moving up could certainly help this move to the upside take a look at run also in that pullback area so watch those closely if they start turning around and coming on up i have to keep um, talking about plug power and although 
plug running into some resistance here in this chart as you can see um, uh, running into some trouble this has still been an incredibly strong stock and one of those alternative energy sources that you might want to be keeping an eye on and plug has made two significant deals here recently one with amazon and one with walmart supplying them hydrogen and hydrogen equipment for forklifts and things like that uh, for their warehouses so watch this close if we can hold a little bit of support there may be an opportunity that that might perk back up other places i you know um you guys know that i'm holding ccj and i'm uh, whoop, ccj um and i am loving ccj um at the moment um little consolidation right in here and now we're showing a bit of bullishness here this morning keep an eye on some of these alternative energies in the uranium space um, ccl um, the quadruple u um, might be one to keep an eye on um, ura would be another one to watch in here nice little pattern setup here on ura with some bullishness showing up here this morning in the pre-market so watch a few of those charts i think overall all guys when it comes to some attack um, uh, you know Apple got a nice report that they're doing a little bit better on their advertising than Google and and um, uh, meta right now but I would watch some of these guys as we rally back up um, hit some resistance levels in the chart I would be watching some of these for the potential of some short trades and if we look at you know stocks like nvidia oh my goodness um, any rally back in here i think sets up a potential short um, amd the semis are really struggling here um, because of the ban being able to uh, sell to uh, china and russia so watch um watch those close they're they're looking pretty ugly here and may in any rally back set up potential short um trades so watch those close with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day thanks for watching this morning i do appreciate it you guys are truly awesome thank you and i will see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a great day everyone